Summer studios at Project Grow Houses consist of art students from nearby colleges and universities that were nominated by their professors and selected by a panel of professional artists. They are in the process of developing new projects in the artist project spaces during a six week long residency. Engaging with the third world community and interacting with established Houston based artists, the residents are creating original projects ranging in materials and subject matter. This video is just a preview of what these artists have in store for you on the opening Saturday, August 18th from 7 to 9 p.m. project is about serenity and my main color is white. I started off with the white room for like meditation or just quiet moment and it's the project is really about what people can do to uh, obtain a moment of peace when they have a whole lot of chaos at home. It's to try to establish a white room or a calm space of their own. So I'm using this project as an example of what to do. All right, so uh, what I did was I set up a store, as you can see, with, uh, first it started off with everything that I own uh, that isn't vitally important to my everyday life. And then just initially telling people about this store, about the idea of it, uh, a lot of people started kicking in a lot of different donations. Uh, I wanted to offer the public to come in and shop at the store. And instead of needing money or credit or anything that's, that was monetary, I want them to, uh, to write down in this ledger uh, some sort of personal truth, a life lesson, uh, any sort of wisdom that they've learned over their life uh, to, you know, that, they, that they think would benefit somebody else. Uh, and so it's been going for about a week and a half now, uh, and it's been amazing. It's incited a lot of generosity, a lot of people are bringing uh, a lot of items as they shop. Uh, a little bit over 75% of people who have actually shopped here have uh, brought other items for other people to use. So yeah, it's been a wonderful process. Nikki and I's row house, a bus eye view, is an elevated view of Third Ward from above, with the perspective as though the observer were a bus rider. As a bus rider, you are exposed to the people that make up the community in an authentic way. Conversations, responses, and emotions are unfiltered. Moments of interest and alarm are untethered. We have illustrated these different experiences that we have observed in the bus in a multimedia collaboration. Painting, sculpture, video art, and photography. Hello, I'm Isaac Reyes. This is my installation. It's going to be a, a majority string. What I'm doing is uh, an installation and then a half its participation of the public. Um, what we're doing is coloring string and then we're, uh, the public is braiding them into bracelets. Uh, I'm usually here from 9 to 1 and then on Fridays also from 4 to 8. So if you can come and participate on this, um, you know, piece of art, I'll be so happy. I'm Marie Foster. I am a senior at Texas Southern University. I'm here to explain my Project Row House, um, I guess you could say topic project, whatever. Um, gentrification. Gentrification, if anybody does not know, gentrification is when wealthier, upper class people of any type of race, it's not a racial, of any type of race, tend to move into neighborhoods that are predominantly uh, lower class and have lower class incomes and that sort of thing. So the residents of the lower class neighborhoods get driven out and pushed out due to the increase of value property, the property, uh, the value of the property. So basically, numerous residents who have been living in Third Ward for years and years and years get pushed out due to the inability to survive. And it's sad. I think it's unfortunate and I am hoping to show in a, uh, kind of what the displaced members are going through, the displaced people are going through emotionally. Because everybody knows that gentrification is going on, but people aren't really doing too much about it. So my hope is to 
kind of show gentrification in a way that is a, like the way that it affects other people, the, the specific people who have been displaced.